My name is Alex. I live in Lombard, Illinois with my wife and four kids. Meet Alex. He's a super dad, a sports guy, and an all-around awesome human. While that's all easy to love, his grilling skills aren't. This is the best worst griller. Growing up, my dad was fantastic at grilling, and I never really caught on because when he was cooking, I was always playing sports or at school, so I kind of feel like it skipped a generation. I started grilling around the time that I moved out on my own after college. I bought a tabletop grill, just focused on the basics. The biggest problem I have when grilling is that I tend to overcook the steak, and then the next time I'm grilling, I'll try to compensate, and then it's undercooked. Steaks are my favorite food, and I really want to master the grill. Master the grill you will, Alex, with the dream team from Jewel Osco, meat lover Mark Bristow, and steak extraordinaire Steve Laguerre are here to help fire up that perfect New York strip. Alex, we understand that picking out the right steaks can be very intimidating. There's a ton of choices out there. So Mark's gonna walk you through some of the attributes of these steaks. So my understanding is you like New York strip steaks, one of my favorite as well. What you're looking for is the fat, the marbling. If you look really close, you can see the fat in the steaks. A lot of people make the mistakes of it's very, very lean. The redder, the better. That's not always true. You want the fat to give you the, the flavor and the tenderness. And don't forget, if you're confused, just ask the butcher at the Jewel. All right, Alex, just as important as picking out a steak is how to prepare it. One of the first things you're going to want to do is grab some olive oil and lightly olive oil both sides of your steaks. Next thing you want to do is you want to kind of stab it over and over and over on both sides just to make sure you're tenderizing that steak on both sides. Little seasoning is probably the best way to go. You're going to want to grab a little bit of salt, you want to grab a little bit of pepper, and then your favorite you say is oregano. I like oregano as well. You don't want to over season anything because what you can do after you're done grilling, you can add as much more seasoning later on as you want. Alex, what's really important is you take them out of the refrigerator about an hour before you want to cook them. Make sure they get to room temperature. You'll find out you have a much more even cook and you'll be consistent from steak to steak. Now comes the good part. Let's go cook them. We want to start with a nice clean grill. Make sure your heat's turned way down low because we always want to cook them slow and low. Now one thing you want to make sure is once you put those on the grill, set a timer for five minutes. Very important. You want to grab your spatula. You want to flip them over again. And you do not want to mess with your steaks. You want to let it sit there again, set your timer for five more minutes, and be patient. Okay. Time's up. Let's check them out. Oh, they look good. When we take them off the grill, you want to wrap them in tin foil and let them rest for five minutes. All right, looks like our work here is done. You're a grilling master now. Well done. The experience today was amazing. I feel like I learned a lot, and I'm really excited to use what I learned to continue getting better at grilling. Mmm, this is delicious. Tastes a lot better than last time. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> when we sat down to eat, I know my family really enjoyed the food, and they said that the steaks were better this time than I've ever cooked before. Like your family, we couldn't be more impressed. For those at home ready for grill greatness, get started at jewelosco.com.